Nick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Samford Bulldogs and the Kansas Jayhawks. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Jayhawks, by all accounts, should have an easy time of it tonight, Dick Vitale. How do they ensure that victory, though? They should listen to me and follow the simple keys, baby. First of all, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Second of all, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. Third, play as a five-man unit defensively. Have rhythm. Be ready to rotate. Help one another on penetration. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes his first. Makes the shot. Wow, the defender walks into a vicious screen. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the inside. And he'll kick it back outside. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Fed the low block. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? For two. Great play to take that to the basket. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Tries to get the D to bite. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? He tries the three. Way off target. First receives the ball. Cross court. The small forward receives the pass. That's basic. Shoots from the top of the key. Nice shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The shooting guard handles the feed from the top of the key. The Jayhawks have got to continue to get him the ball. That is on fire. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position. By and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. I post screen, going to use it. Now they work it around the perimeter. Up and inside. He shoots from the top of the key. The Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from right of the circle. They move it into the front court. Newton comes up with it. He'll regroup the offense. The brush is getting to him, Brad. The small forward handles the pass. Goes in. is fired up and ready to go. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. 
Ooh, look at a shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. That's good. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Up and inside. The skip pass is picked off. Inside. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. For the bucket, they still don't score. Intercepted. Gave it up. Tries for two. The lay -in. Inside. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing the ball in there. Controlling the ball. First picks up the foul. First personal foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Trying to pack it inside, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. On the outside, thinks about the shot. High post screen. That was nice. In the paint. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. For two, perfectly executed. You would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. He keeps the dribble as they reset. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Kansas are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. They work it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Goes up for two. In and out. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. Thanks, Aaron. There's the fake. Time to pick up the defense here now. Steals the ball. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Good job defensively. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respects that were saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Run him right. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when they needed him, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. Misses it. Gets the board. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. And he'll kick it back outside. Fakes a jumper. He gets the rejection. The Stanford faithful will occasionally stop during those critical moments in the game. You heard that, Dick. Hey, it's all by design, Brad. Any little thing to distract the opposition. That's what a home court advantage is all about. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He shoots from downtown. He gets the bucket to fall. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Let's rewind that. And now they'll bring it up. Here, a five-second call forced by that determined defense. Picks off the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Off the rim and no good. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Looking for a good shot. He's open if he wants the shot. For two, doesn't go. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Dick, he's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. 
Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Now they work it around the perimeter. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish a good tempo. Replay of the night, baby. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Stolen away. Cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. The post flashes up high if he wants it. He shoots from right of the circle. Buried it. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry. He's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Arm and foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. With the jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Dick, this crowd will go silly if they can get some points this trip. Takes away the pass. Hey, Brad, a stop here will definitely raise the decibel level. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. There's the trap. There's the slam. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that bet. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He rejects it. He intercepts it. Fires it down. He shoots from right of the circle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Perfectly executed. Replay, please. He uses the shot fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. 
I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. They work the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. right there trying to play that passing lane anticipating really well working it around the perimeter for two perfectly executed you're going to be seeing this one all week Could come here. Goes up for two. He hits it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Pushing up basketball. For the bucket. He waited for the screen and dropped in a nice inside hoop. off the lazy pass. Puts it up, looking for contact. Tries for two. Up and in. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Shoot from right of the circle. Great shot. Trying to draw some contact. Buchanan makes the finger roll. That's basic. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. That'll take he makes the block. Shot clock is dead. Moving it around the perimeter. Robs him of the ball. Basket's good, plus one. He showed our seniors supposed to play in big games, baby. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them, they're celebrating. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. To the line, shooting one. Misses the free one. Gave it up on the outside. He had to hurry it. Way off target. At halftime, the Jayhawks lead by nine. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Kansas really did a great job of collecting the boards in the first half, Dick. Hey, collecting the boards and canceling out second chance opportunities, that's how you win ball games, baby. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. This one deserves another look, Brad. I'll 
there. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Pump fakes for the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Turnover City, though, always really the gate. Any offense. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from left of the circle. Sinks the shot. They work it around the perimeter. He looks for three. Goes in. The Bulldogs are down by 12. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. With a deep shot from outside. He drains it. They work the perimeter. I think right now, got to focus defensively. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. They're off into transition. Or two. Great play to take that to the basket. Up and inside. Shoots it. Kansas are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to find the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Makes the shot. Nicky's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The ball goes out of bounds. Defenders doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. It's good. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Steals the pass. The ball goes out of play. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like that. Gets up to make the block. What an unbelievable play, rotating over. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He unloads. Ten seconds to put it up. the dribble gives it up tries for two can't get the shot to go that was a lazy exhibition of defense really was there was no intensity at all in the paint pump fakes he gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot i did a great job creating a good angle too when he goes up and under he seals off the defensive player They 
might come with a double team to stop it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. The power forward takes the pass. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Taken away. Working it around the perimeter. Bryant picks up the defensive foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He'll attempt two shots. Gets the first. That's seven unanswered. You can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing like football special situations. You got to be able to execute there. Picked out of the air. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Now they work it around the perimeter. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. <laughs> up and inside. Goes up for two. I'm running right into the screen again. What did I say? Layup, son. I'm telling you, Brad, you can have a field day against these guys. Why don't you put a uniform on? Nobody within 10 feet of an easy basket again. I mean, unbelievable. Let's blow out City. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For the bucket and off the mark. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Double team now. Bad angle. The ball goes out of bounds. Gave it up. Takes the shot. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. inside on the dribble gives it up for two the Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick that he's on fire the offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block Dick I tell you he gained big time position by getting the good angle the good arm entry had the real extension knocks it down Gave it up. He blocks the shot. The ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Stolen. Moving it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Sanford is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. it up. Great defense. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. Makes it. The point guard gets the ball. He attempts the three. Off the rim and no good. Working around the arc. He attempts the trifecta. You betcha. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the dribble, gives it up. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's dick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. And working around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Tries for two. Kansas are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. out of bounds. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Picks off the lazy pass. Jumps in. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. He puts up the three ball. Goes. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Now the high screen. They still don't score. Steals the ball. On the outside. The center in the post. Gets it back out. Passes out. Wants to get better post position. On the outside. He's 
drips in clean. Look how speed, I'll tell you, man. There's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Gave it up. Steals the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Up and inside. In the post. Kicks it out. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Kansas are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. He throws it up from downtown. Oh, yes! I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He shoots from right of the circle. Are they confused about who goes where on that double team? Oh, there's no doubt. They work the perimeter. I think they're trying to make a statement. At the line. Makes his first. Gets the second. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play half play, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you're kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball for two sinks the shot looking for a good shot they get it inside and a chance for a three-point play as they score Number two steps in for the first time tonight. This may or may not have been the right substitution at this point, Brad. At the free throw line. Sinks it. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. He throws it down court. Goes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Look at that spacing. Looking for a good shot. Working it around the perimeter. He goes for the trifecta. Questionable shot selection there. That shot was definitely ill-advised. On the outside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. With the shot. Kansas had put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Jumped in front to take it away. In the paint. He tries the three ball. He buries the shot.
things around here for the moment. Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Pushing that basketball, help one another communicate. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going down with ease, Brad. Coming inside. They move it into the front court. He tries the three. He gets the shot to fall. He attempts the trifecta. He hits the shot. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Up and inside. He shoots from outside. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. They're working around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. Way off target. Now they reset the play. Basketball IQ, really important. Know what a good shot is. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Foul charge. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Picks off the pass. The chanting continues. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? Up. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. long range. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. With a jump hook, he gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. pass. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. Rims out. Dick, you said it so many times. Survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, and you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Kansas came, they saw, and they conquered their first-round foe, Dick. I tell you, Brad, watch out for this team because the coach has these kids playing with more intensity than they ever did during a regular season. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to serve them well as now they shift into gear for that second-round matchup. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.